Kenya Airways Kenya Airways got hit by the Ransomix ransomware group on December 30, 2023. This is a big deal for Kenya Airways, a major player in connecting African nations globally. The hackers, Ransomix, are no strangers to causing trouble worldwide. The leaked documents spill the beans on aircraft accidents, employee misconduct investigations, think fraud and theft, and a bunch of other confidential info. The leaked data covers a wide range, from insurance policies to passwords, customer complaints, and even allegations of sexual harassment. To make matters worse, there's info on politically exposed people in the mix. Sebastian Raoult, a 22-year-old Frenchman, has been sentenced to three years in U.S. federal prison for his involvement in the Shiny Hunters hacking group. Also known as Cezio Kaizen, he was extradited to the U.S. in January 2023 after being arrested in Morocco. Raoult pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and aggravated identity theft and is ordered to pay $5 million in restitution. According to the indictment, Raoult and two accomplices hacked over 60 companies globally, posting stolen data on dark web forums such as Raid Forums, Empire Market, and Exploit. They threatened to release data unless a ransom was paid. Notable hacks in 2020 and 2021 included breaches of Bonobos, Pixelr, and Microsoft's GitHub account. Despite claiming access to 70 million AT&T accounts, the company denied any breach. The hackers created fake websites mimicking legitimate businesses' login pages and sent phishing emails to employees, gaining access to accounts when victims entered their credentials. The theft resulted in hundreds of millions of customer records, stolen and around $6 million in losses. U.S. District Judge Robert S. Lasnik, during the sentencing, emphasized the seriousness of the offense, stating, We're talking about him robbing people of millions of dollars. Raoul's father mentioned that the sentence includes time served in Morocco and Seattle, indicating another 11 months to serve in prison. Raoul expressed remorse in court, acknowledging his mistakes and expressing a desire to move past his hacking activities. In April, a ransomware attack targeted Fincantieri Marine Group, a company building ships for the U.S. Navy. The attack exposed information of nearly 17,000 people, including main residents. The company confirmed the cybersecurity incident caused a temporary disruption to its computer systems. Breach notification letters were sent on January 5, 2024, revealing unauthorized access and data encryption between April 6 and April 12, 2023. Personal information of main residents, including names and social security numbers, was impacted. The shipyard builds the Navy's Freedom Class Littoral Combat Ship and Constellation Class Guided Missile Frigate. The attack disrupted servers feeding information to manufacturing machines, affecting welding, cutting, and more. The shipyards in Marinette, Sturgeon Bay, and Green Bay employ around 2,300 people. Water for People, a nonprofit working to improve clean water access, faced a ransomware attack by the Medusa Gang, demanding $300,000. The access data predates 2021 with no impact on financial systems. It's important to note that this cyber attack occurred shortly after Water for People received a substantial $15 million grant from Mackenzie Scott, the philanthropist and ex-wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. However, there is no evidence suggesting that the attack was specifically targeted due to this donation. The organization operates in nine countries and remains committed to its mission, aiming to improve water access for over 200 million people in the next eight years. Data accessed predates 2021, no harm to financial systems or operations. Collaborating with response firms, insurance, and security team to strengthen systems for future prevention.